Among the recipients was heavyweight boxer Nigel Paul. And the 2021 World Championships bronze medalist says the funds will go a long way in helping prepare for future engagements. I feel a great sense of relief moving forward. Um, just coming off of the Commonwealth Games, we didn't really get the results that we wanted. Again, um, made history personally. Uh, won my first fight at the Commonwealth Games, didn't do as best as everybody expected me to do. So moving forward, you know, we have a new plan, training camps to go to. Um, a different boxing regiment altogether for the upcoming big year, upcoming year. Um, so having these funds as assistance for me is, is greatly appreciated. He believes combat sport in Trinidad and Tobago is on an upward trajectory. Boxing always had a base um, demographic, a base fan base, um, but now we see more MMA and, and, and Muay Thai and different forms of combat sports um, being represented in Trinidad. So. Even celebrity matches, you see now in boxing on the upswing. So um, just the whole combat sport, even locally in Trinidad and Tobago, is on the uptrend. Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sport and Community Development, Gabriel Hesumate, says it's the ministry's goal through its grants to help the respective athletes and organizations improve on their current status. So ultimately, these grants provide organizations and individuals a chance to be able to be best suited to contribute to Trinidad and Tobago from a sport perspective or from a community development perspective, all within the realm of bettering Trinidad and Tobago as a whole. Over $3 million was handed out this morning to the athletes and organizations. Kent Fuentes, TDT Sports.